All right, let's talk about pages six and seven. We're gonna do circles again, just like we did on four and five, but this time the center is not at zero, zero. Remember with this formula, we said if it looks just like this, x squared plus y squared equals a number, that means the center is at the origin, zero, zero, where the two axes cross each other. This formula though is a little different. We still have an x squared and a y squared, but we have two other numbers. And we can just inspect it. We can just look at it if it's in this form, and we can pull out these two numbers and know where the center is. So the center is gonna be the, whatever the h number is, x minus h, and whatever the k number is. Put those two together, h, k, and that's gonna be the address, the coordinate of the center, then we would still get the radius from here, do the square root of whatever that number is, and from there we can sketch the circle. Let's take one example from our homework and get you started. Um, you need to finish this one, but let's, let's look here. x minus h, the quantity squared. Uh-oh, this is x plus two, but I'm supposed to have it in this form x minus something squared. And then over here, I'm supposed to have it in the form y minus something squared equals 16. Well, <clears throat> this is positive two, but x minus what number would be the same as x plus two? How about negative two? If I put negative two here, do you see that x minus negative two is the same thing as x plus two? Okay, so that means that the negative two here comes down and that's gonna be my first coordinate for the center. And then the second coordinate is, oh, I don't even have a number, it just says y squared. So y minus what equals y? Zero, right? Okay, so that one should just be zero, and that one we don't have to change the sign. We just leave it at zero. So now when I go to graph it, I'm gonna go over here to negative one, negative two, and instead of going up or down, it's gonna be right here on the axis. That will be the center of this circle. And then the radius is the square root of 16, so the radius is four. So from the center, if I go over one, two, three, four, and put a little mark there, and then I need to come way over here, four, put an arc, come from here down, one, two, three, four, put an arc, and then from here up, four. And if I did that correctly, which it doesn't look very good, and connect those, that radius should be the same all the way around, you can draw a circle. <clears throat> doesn't start off too hard, right? There's a few problems, and make sure you score and correct everything, and then you have a checkup coming up, and then we'll see you after the checkup. This pace does get into some pretty challenging concepts before we're done. All right, so hang on, here we go.